All right, today we're looking at similar shapes and scale drawings. For similar shapes, this means that they have the same shape, but they are different sizes. Uh, for our angles, no matter uh, what size the similar shapes are, your angles are always going to equal each other. So if angle A is 60 degrees, then angle X is also 60 degrees. 60 degrees. For your sides, these are proportional. Um, so first you have to determine the corresponding sides, which is right here. And with these two triangles, you have line A to B is equal to X to Y. And B to C is, would be equal to Y to Z. And A to C would be equal to X to Z. So being able to use that information, you can set up a proportion to see if the side lengths are proportional to each other. Because remember, a proportion means that um, the ratios are equal. And that's what we're looking for um, in similar shapes. Um, and so you would do a comparison of the uh, sides. So we have A to B uh, is to X to Y, and then equal to BC is, uh, is to y over z. Um, in our examples, we'll fill this in with numbers, so it'll make a little more sense with numbers instead of letters. All right, so to find for a missing side length, you want to determine the corresponding sides, set up a proportion, and then solve for the missing value. For this example, we have triangle ABC is similar to triangle XYZ. So first, we're going to do the corresponding sides. Just like before, A to B would be equal to X, Y. So this line here, A to B, is at to X, Y. B to C would be equal to Y to Z. And then A to C would be equal to X to Z. These are all corresponding sides. Now we're going to be able to set up our proportion to solve for the uh, value in. Um, and so to do that, we have to take the two sides that have a number A to B and X, Y, and use that ratio A to B over X, Y, 3 over N. And then we got to use the ones that we're looking for. So we're looking for A to C, which is our value N, and that one corresponds with X to Z, which is value 12. So we set it up the same way, N over 12. I tell a lot of my students that I start with the left figure as figure one over figure two. And so I keep that the same here, figure one over figure two values. Um, here, then you just simply uh, solve for the missing value like in the proportions lesson. Uh, you use your cross product where you get three times 12 equal to nine times N. And three times 12 is 36 um, equal to the nine N. Here we want to divide to both sides to get our N by itself. So nine divided by nine gives us our one N. And 36 divided by nine gives us four. You can then plug in four for N for your value. You might have also noticed that here three times three does give you nine. And so getting the value four for n, plugging that in here, four, four times three does give you a value of 12. So these are proportional and they are similar triangles. Scale drawings is given a map model or drawing and asked for actual distance, size, or scale. This example, Corbin made a scale model of a San Jacinto monument. Uh, the monument has an actual height of 604 feet. Corbin's model used a scale in which one inch represents 100 feet. So this could be one, one inch equals 100 feet. What is the height in inches of Corbin's model? So we're looking for the height in the model. First, we're determining the scale, which is one inch equals 100 feet. Then we need the given information. So the actual height is 600 feet of the monument. And then what are we looking for? We're looking for the height in inches for the model. So we're given the actual and we're looking for a model height. 
So to set up our proportion, we want to start with what our scale is. So we have the one inch is represented by 100 feet, and that is equal to uh, what we're looking for. We're looking for the height in inches, so that goes on top with the inches, and we're given the actual num uh, height in feet, so that goes on bottom with the 100 feet. You use your cross product method, so 600 and four times one is 604, 10, or 100 times n is 100 n. And then you would divide by 100. So 604 divided by 100 is 6.04 inches or 6 and 4 hundredths of an inch is it. I want to thank you for watching this video. It was a quick explanation of similar shapes and scale drawings. You can always go back and pause the video if needed to look at the examples. There are also other great resources out on the web. Just Google the title to view more videos.